Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to remap your EX Plus characters in Unreal Engine so you can use Live Link Face to do facial mocap. Before we get started, you'll want to make sure that you have the auto setup for Unreal installed. You can download the required files and find the installation guide all on the auto setup page, which I'll provide a link for in the description below. Once you have your character all prepared, the first item of business is to export the FBX file from Character Creator. I'll select the Unreal Engine target tool preset first and export using the current pose since we're not exporting any other motions along with our character mesh. It's important here that you turn on the Bake Diffuse and Specular maps from Digital Human Shader, otherwise you will get a double material issue when importing into Unreal. If your character contains smart hair elements, there's also a tutorial linked in the description which will tell you more about that. After export is complete, make sure that you've enabled the Character Creator Auto Setup plugin in addition to the Live Link plugin. This will allow you to stream the facial mocap to your character. Aside from that, you'll also want to enable Apple ARKit as well as ARKit face support so we can do the capture with our Apple device. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and import the FBX file into Unreal Engine. When importing, it's important that you use the HQ shader for best visual results, and in the import settings, you'll want to make sure that you select the Use T0 as reference pose and import Morph Targets options under the Animation section and then Import All. Next, we're going to talk about retargeting to the animation blueprint. The first thing you'll need to do is import the blueprint for remapping. We've provided the download link for the relevant blueprint files in the description. What I'm doing here is just creating a blueprint folder, then importing the blueprint files into that folder using Explorer. Once that's done, you'll see the files appear in our Unreal Content Browser. Next, let's copy our animation blueprint to the same folder as our character. Then, right-click on it to go to retarget the skeleton on existing anim blueprints. From there, we'll just select our character skeleton and retarget. Okay, next up we need to connect our iPhone via Live Link Face. Let's find our IP address first by using the ipconfig command in the command prompt. You'll need to ensure that your iPhone is connected to the same wireless network as your computer. Alternately, you can use an Ethernet cable to connect your phone directly to the computer using a Lightning Ethernet adapter. You can input the IP address of your iPhone's network using the Add Target option in your settings like so. It's important here to activate the Head Rotation option on your iPhone or else your character's head rotation won't work. After we've done all that setup, let's open up the Live Link panel where you'll find a device connected named Reillusion. Let's now go ahead and open up the retargeted Anim Blueprint from before. Inside, you'll see an event graph that controls the bones of the character. You'll find groups of nodes that represent eye rotation, head rotation, as well as jaw movement. Luckily, all of this is already taken care of, so there is no assembly required. We can also take a quick look at the Anim Graph, which is responsible for remapping the animation to the character. Here you'll see the various rotation nodes that are connected to particular bone parts, serving to drive the rotation of the head. Before going any further, we first need to change the Live Link subject name to our device, which in this case is Reillusion. In the same node, we also want to go over and change the retarget asset to EX plus underscore remap in the detail panel. This remap blueprint controls the facial morphs of our character. Once we're done that, we can go ahead and compile, after which we'll see the facial mocap results on our character's face, although we don't have head rotation just yet. To enable that, we need to go back to our event graph and change the subject once again to our Reillusion device in the Evaluate Live Link Frame function. After that, we'll again hit Compile, and the remapping workflow will then be complete. We now have full facial mocap capability. If we want to test out the mocap in our level, we can simply drag that same animation blueprint into our level and with the character model selected, select the Update Animation and Editor option in the Skeletal Mesh section. After that, you can see your character perform the facial motion capture live in your scene. That's really all there is to getting your EX Plus characters from Character Creator up and running with Live Link Facial Mocap with iPhone in Unreal Engine. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for the latest updates on using Character Creator characters in Unreal, as well as our forums at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you in the next video.